G'day guys and welcome back to Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie. I'm going to do a resin pour for you. And this is the one that I'm basing it on today. I really love this. It was just a bit of, it's only thin, see? It was leftover resin from um, a geode set that I did. And I really love that effect there in the middle. So you can see through it. Ah, oh, that light's doing my head in. <clears throat> but anyway, that's what I'm going to try and um, replicate. Not with so much black, though, because the black really took over. So I'm going to try and do it without too much black. I mean, I do like the black. <clears throat> I just think it's a little bit dominant. So I'll try and put a little bit less on. Um, resin I'm using is the same that I have been using for the last few because I've still got this left. Uh, it's Barnes Clarity. So it's a two-part um, and it's a two-to-one. So that's the small one. It's one part and then it's two parts of this big one. This is the thick one. So I actually measured in a measuring cup on top of a scale um, what 200 grams was and what 100 grams was. Um, you know, when I put it in, in the cup, I measured 100 mils and that actually measured 100 grams. Then I did the other one, took it up to 200 mils and it actually weighed 225 grams. So now I know what that is and I just weigh it. So I do 100 grams of one and 225 grams of the other. And uh, yeah, I've had no, no problems. I just find it easier than trying to measure in a cup. You know, the little line, you think, oh, do I go above the line? Do I go below the line? Anyway, <clears throat> this is easier. Um, oh, I have ordered some stone coat. I'm going to turn my notifications off. I forgot, sorry. Righto, that's better. Um, I have ordered some stone from stone, stone, what's it called? Stone coat countertops. I've ordered from them. Um, and I ordered the art coat. So I'll give that a go when it comes. Um, yeah, I'm happy to try to add a few resins. They're expensive though, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Oh well. Um, now, um, initially I was going to do six because I thought, you know, a set of six coasters is nice. Then I thought, ah, oh, don't be ridiculous, woman. What are you going to do with six? So then I thought, I'll just do three. But then this amount of resin. 325 mils I think it's probably going to make maybe four so we'll see we'll see how many I get I don't want them ultra thick um, these these coasters hold I think they're about a centimeter deep I'm um, talking about molds have you guys seen these in white I really really don't like this orangey brown color I really don't if anyone sees them in white, and I know Just Resin's got them, but they don't have any in Australia, can you let me know? Or send me one. I'll pay. <laughs> right, let's get going. Um, so the black around the edge, I'm going to do with the um, Pearl X. What's it called? Pearl X Carbon Black with a couple of drops of the Pinata Black. So that's that one. And then the silver, which if you saw my other video, I tried the um, liquid metal, <laughs> Sargent's liquid metal. It did not work. So I'm going to try this one, which is what that is in the back there. Still sunk, but I'm going to try that. And the beautiful Blingit Interference Gold. I'm not going to put as much in as I did when I did that last coaster. Um, color art, color art makes that one. Um, I did these coasters. This was the leftover with these. Um, so it's this beautiful pale, pale gold. I've got a little bit of it going there, sort of under the black. So this one's got a lot more black, as I said. So I'm hoping to get more of this kind of effect. And then I've got some clear crystals in the center. It's my crushed mirror or crushed glass. It has got little bits of mirror on it. But yeah, so 
I think I'll put a little bit less of the interference gold in it. Okay, let's get going. I'll put my gloves on. Um, I think I think what I'll do is I'll just take the big cups away and use the little cups because I'm only going to do a little bit around. If I use a small cup, then I'll be less inclined to use too much. Hey, all right, let's give this another stir. It's pretty full, so I'm going to pour into the bigger cups first. These cups hold 150 mils. So that'll be for my silver, that'll be for my interference, and then I want one for my clear. And listen, lesson learnt the hard way. Don't overfill your cups because you can't pour them. The, it all runs down the sides. So, yeah, it does not work. Pour some of that. I'll leave the rest in there just for a minute. Um, actually, I'll use the interference first. That way I don't have black all over my spoon. I think last time I used like a pretty full spoon like that. I'm going to use a bit less. About that. See how that goes. I can always add more. I just don't want it to be like too opaque and sink. Actually, I'm going to put them all in there and then I'm going to pause the video and um, stir because you don't need to see me stir. It takes a few minutes and it's just boring. Okay, so that's the interference. That's the clear. This is the silver. This silver by Perlex Jacquard. Mm, what's it actually called? Oh, it's a silver and again we'll just do half a spoon hey see how that goes and that can go in there and then my black I need to buy some more black I've been using a lot of black actually I need to buy some more black and same oh actually we only got a tiny little cup though haven't we let's just do like a little tip like that on the end like so and one, two, just two drops of the pinata black, just to give it a little bit more of opaque. I like the, I like this one because it's a bit shimmery. So that's that one. And then this one here, I just need to clean my little spoon again. I have got more spoons. So I'm not sure how many I'm going to do yet. I'm not sure how many coasters I'm going to do. Shit, that's not working. I have to hold this. Um, at least four. So let's do one, two, three, four. And one for luck. So if I end up doing more than four coasters... I'll just need to make up a little bit more. So this one, I just want a paste, really. So it's just going to have a little bit of resin in it just to just to wet it, really, make them stick together. Um, otherwise, they float around and they move too much. So it's basically just, just to coat them. It sounds very gritty, doesn't it? Okay, so that's them. Um, I'm just going to put you on pause and I'm going to stir up those other few. I'll be right back. I actually realised when I was mixing that I didn't have enough in my silver and my gold. I still had a lot in my clear, so I've added more, another same amount and then another little bit of the mica powders. Let's have a look at the colours, shall we? That one looks really pretty. I should have just used this instead of the um, liquid metal. <laughs> Would have turned out better. And that's the interference gold. It's just a really, really pale, creamy gold. It's really pretty. Okay. Let's do it. Not sure how many I'm going to do. 
I'm going to try, 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 try for a tiny bit. I wish I could squeeze these. Try for a tiny bit of black. I guess depending on how much black I've got, that might determine how much or how many coasters I do. I'm not quite sure how much resin these take, but well, it'll depend on how full you make them, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't make them a, a centimetre thick. Let's try for four because four is a nice even number, isn't it? And I've still got a little bit left. I'll move these cups out of the way. They're in my way. Got a little bit left. I'm just going to fill in. You probably can't see, but I'm just going to fill in a couple of areas where it's not quite touching. Actually, I can just use my stick. Just want the um, the black to touch the edges. I'll just run my stick around like that. Push it all into the the edges. No corners, but edges. <laughs> and try and get them to be as equal as possible. Now I do know that just from experience <laughs> that the black really takes over, so. Don't want to do too much. I'll leave that there. I mean, there's probably enough in there to do the other two if I if I get enough. So let's just leave it there. Okay, now the next one is going to be the silver. Um, I think I might just do the puddle pour actually with, with these. Let's do a little, little puddle in the middle of each for now. I didn't do that with the other one, but we'll just try it. See, this is what happens when it's a bit full and you're kind of pouring from, not pouring into the middle, dripping down the side. Okay, well, you've gone to the edge. Let's just, let's just fill you up then, hey? A little bit more things that you want to do that just fill you up with silver I guess that way at least I know that they're equal if they've if I've got a covering of silver there okay it looks as if I'm only going to do four because my silver's all gone I have no idea if it's equal though. I mean, you can't tell if one's more full than the other. So that little bit of black, that can just be wasted. <clears throat> right. Now, the next thing, I want to do the same with the interference. I'm just going to, I'm going to pour it into the middle if I can. If it'll pour into the middle and push that other silver to the edges so hopefully that's what it's going to do it's working well it's going to be a little bit more forceful with it and say pour straight rather than pour down the side i think i was going to i was going to um zoom you in a little bit I'll stop and just do that now, just so that you can see what I'm doing. Because um, I was kind of a bit further out when I was doing all the mixing and things, but you don't need to see all that now. So let's come in further. And you can have a little look at the more of the detail, hopefully. That's better, isn't it? I do wish people would zoom in more, you know, when I'm watching videos and I'm going, I can't see! Or you're off screen! 
Let's get my glove back on. Oh, look at the effects happening already. I better get a wriggle on. Okay, now this is where I pour my clear into the center. And I can only have, I've worked out that I can only have half a cup. Otherwise, it just dribbles down the side there. So into the middle. I push that all. I want to make sure it's in the middle, but I'd be careful. Now I'm going to use up what I've got left of my clear. It's just enough for four, hey. Oh, there we go. I'll make a note of that. I'll know that for next time. Just enough for four. These are pretty big coasters, these ones. See, it's a little bit full of that cup now. So it's only pour as well. It's going to use up all my clear now. Pouring into the middle. But see how you can see that orangey brownish through there? I really don't like that. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I could get some white coasters like this. So if anyone's got any, if you'd like to send me a Prezi, I'd sure appreciate it. Or if you know where to get them from, you can send me the link. Now I'm just going to see which one needs a little bit more because I can't really tell. I don't know, it just, it's so off-putting having the, the orange showing through. Okay, that's all my clear gone. Now for the, the glass. And that's just going to go plop. Whoops. Try and plop it into the centre. Plop. I'm hoping I've got it equally dispersed because as my little effects are starting to happen on the top I don't really want to you know mess them up it's starting to happen already left there we go uh, well it looks as if my coasters are kind of deep enough that I'm not going to have any um, glass poking through the top which is nice see that's like closed in already I guess it's just going to do that I just want to make sure that I've got no glass poking through near the top okay that'll do um well that was quick wasn't it now let me get my gloves off and i'll give it a torch and then we'll see what happens it's probably not going to be as dark as this i'll probably regret it not having so much black because now that i look at it i go yeah that's much prettier but in time that black may come over hope so it's going to torch with my little creme brulee torch Popping bubbles. So be really careful. These molds, they're not ideal for for resin. I find um, they, I think they're for cakes and pies and things. And you, you know, you put them in the oven, but obviously your oven's not as hot as this. These tend to sort of stick more and melt to the side of your coasters. So just got to be careful. All right, that'll do. I can smell something burning. <laughs> I don't know whether it's the silicone or whether it's my paint. All right, I might just pause you for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and we'll come back and see what it's looked like and see how much it's changed. They've changed a lot. It's probably been about 15 minutes. I was planning my next resin pour and I've been getting my colours sorted. I'm going to use my 
cast and craft that arrived yesterday for the next pour, so that's exciting. Um, let's have a look. Now, my black, it's, um, yeah, it's more silver. I haven't really got a lot of black. See that one there? I've got a lot of black around the edges. I was kind of hoping that would happen, but it doesn't look as if it's going to. Got, still got really pretty little um, delicate black features, but got a lot of silver in there. So I guess, you know, if I, I do it again, because I do like the black, I was so careful not to put too much black on, and then I think I haven't probably got enough black. But we'll see what happens. Or maybe the silver just took over. See, when I did this one, I only had a tiny, tiny little bit of silver left over. Um, and I had a lot of clear, so I've got a lot more clear in the center there. These, the centers are kind of filling up, but look at that, it's kind of looking puffy. It's just weird. So yeah, I'm gonna be keen to see what happens with these guys. So um, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. It's my favorite time of the day. The unmolding, just getting my gloves on. I've been painting with these ones. I've got paint on them. So these have dried. Nothing at all like what I was hoping for. But they still look really interesting. So if you remember, that was the one that I was hoping to replicate. But that's okay. It just means that I get to do more coasters and try again for this one. A little bit more black, a little less silver, and we'll go again. But I'm sure these will be equally as beautiful. Cross fingers. <laughs> Eating cross fingers in gloves. Okay, so here they are. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the gold edge or the silver edge we'll see what they look like when they come out because looking at them like this they look much more silver to me don't they there's a little bit of gold I can see the gold underneath but it's probably all going to be on the other side so let's unmold them let's do this one first because he's on his own hey let's have a look at him all right, hopefully I can get them out. I did do quite a bit of torching, so hopefully I haven't damaged these molds. Oh, so far, so good. Pop, 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 it's good. All good. Right, let's have a look at the front. Oh, look at the shimmer, wow. So because I haven't filled them up all the way, there's a tiny little ridge, little lip. I'm going to ask for one of those little tiny sanding machines for my birthday, which is next month. <laughs> so then I can, so I don't have to do them by hand. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's called. I'll have to research it. It's got this little like ball thing on the end and it just spins around. So just something little. I don't want something huge. It's going to make dust everywhere and I have to you know wear masks and all that but anyway let's have a look at the side um, not much to see there just some silver and some black are we ready to flip her over one two three flip oh my gosh wow look at that it's all puffy looking wow was not expecting that. Hey, look at that. I've got the black around the outside and the silver in the middle. And then you reverse it. And I've got the black in the middle and the silver on the outside. That's pretty cool. I would actually use that both ways. Look at the silver. There's my little mirrored glass in the middle. That is really pretty. Wow, I love that. Gold. Mm, can't really see it not really I think the silver's just taken over or maybe I didn't put enough of the mica powder in all right let's do the next one. Oh, look what I got look what arrived little um, plate stands so I can put that there 
and then I can put that there actually not that way that way look at that Woohoo! pretty cool huh all right let's get to the next one I'm assuming they're all going to be the same so I'll try and speed it up a little bit for you otherwise we're going to be here all day and I want to do another pour this morning okay so there's the front Same thing, lots of silver around the outside. The black's gone to the center. And pretty much the same. Got the black around the outside. Um, you can see through. No, you can't really. I mean, you can see through the center. But look at that. Love it. All right, so there's that one. I'll put that one the opposite way so that you can see the difference. Wish you guys could talk to me. Now, silver or gold edging? Boop. Same again. They're all very similar. Beautiful shine to them. It's that little lip I was telling you about at the back there. You can see that. I'll just sand that. So you can see little bits of gold through this through there. Not a lot. I like how they've all got that black ring around the outside. It's because I poured the black in first and got black around the outside. So they're all very symmetrical in that respect. And yeah, not a lot of gold popping through. You can probably see the gold a little bit better on the, the front. Definitely have to add more gold next time. Whoops. Come here. I can't do things with my gloves on. All right, last one. This one's more puffy in the front. It's really pretty. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm glad I didn't damage my mold. I thought I might by torching so much. And there it is. Again, love it. I just I don't know which side I'd use. I love them both. These may be my new favourites, although I really like the pink ones that I did a couple of days ago. So pretty. Okay, so that's them. <coughs> Um, and now, oh, decisions, decisions. Do I go with the silver or go with the gold? I think, you know, I've done quite a few in the gold. So maybe we can do the silver. Oops. Okay, I am going to go with the silver. I do think that they, they just look more silver, don't they? So let's do the silver. Give them a good shake. Uh, Krylon silver leafing pen. That's it there. Just going to push down here, make sure we're getting the colour coming through. You have to give it a bit of a push. Okay. Now, um, oh, I really should sand that first, shouldn't I? Actually, it doesn't actually bother me because when you've got your, your coaster sitting that way, the cup, it kind of gives it something... You know for the cup to not slide on because you know how sometimes when they get wet they're kind of aeroplane <laughs> is that the word over water skim over water um, and it'll just stop them so I'm not going to let's just I'm just going to paint the rim here so what I've done is I've put my pen nib half on and half off that little rim and that'll just give me a nice edge on the top and it'll also give me a nice little edge on the side and I know you've seen me do this before if you've been following me so you may not need to watch this whole thing The silver doesn't seem to work as well as the gold, as in, 
the amount of paint that comes out. I have ordered some little bottles of model paint, uh, model car paint, and then I can paint it with the paintbrush. Actually, somebody said to me, I can't remember who it was, um, on YouTube or um, Facebook, they said, you keep these pens and then dip them into the um, the paint, which I thought was a brilliant idea. So you can dip it in and then go. So there we go. How's that look? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now let's just do the back. I'm not going to... What I what I worked out the other day was if I do the top rim and then do the bottom rim, and then I've only got a little bit in the middle to do if I decide to do the middle. Let's just do the bottom rim. Same thing, half on, half off. And that should just give us a nice little, just gives us something to follow. But yeah, the paint doesn't seem to flow out as well in the silver. I don't know whether it's just a, a dodgy pen or maybe the silver's just not as flowy as the gold I don't know or maybe I damaged the nib at some stage not sure oh I smudged if you smudge straight you can wipe it off straight away but if it dries then you will need an alcohol swab just follow that rim all the way around And use a glove on one hand so that you're not getting oily fingerprints or smudge marks or anything like that on your coaster. You can just pick up these little gloves from eBay or Amazon. I'm a couch shopper. I do everything from home. Sit on the couch and order my paints and my canvases, molds, everything. From eBay and Amazon Prime. I get free shipping with Amazon Prime, which is lovely. So with the silver, I seem to have to go over it a little bit more. Okay, so that's the other side with the silver on it. I'm glad I chose the silver. It looks really pretty. It's so elegant looking, isn't it? Oh my gosh. If anyone wants to buy these, let me know. It's not expensive to you know ship these overseas so now what you could do um, you know if you like the look of that like that on the edge then you know maybe I don't know it's hard to say because it's interesting to see through the side as well so if you're someone that likes to see you know your sides you could do that um, because it's just part of the art isn't it you can see through there or if you wanted to you could just get your silver pen and fill in all of those edges here they are, the finished products. And I've got the silver edging on them. I'll just take you in for a bit of a close up on each one. Love them. Even though they weren't what I was expecting, I haven't got all that black in the center. I just love them. They're very unique. I think they're very masculine. They are for sale if anyone's interested. Just turn these around so that you can see the other side. Don't know which side I like better, the front or the back. I can't decide. Do you like my backdrop? It's one of my paws. <laughs> I thought it matched nicely. I needed something. For the background so there they are love them let me know if you like the front or the back better I like both and um, I'll use both sides unless you want them then you can use both sides <laughs> all right thanks for watching you guys really appreciate it and uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay. Bye for now.